very important which we always use in our life and I'm going to talk about ginger ginger and I'm going to talk uh, the the main topic for this is uh, the if you, you have these conditions especially the 10 conditions you are not supposed to use ginger and if you are using it you are supposed to use it in uh, sparingly because of the effects as we're going to talk in the video kindly in this channel we get to talk matters medical in a simple language which you can understand by liking the video you get youtube to recommend us to the larger population and the basic information such as this to get to reach a larger population and that is what that's our aim of this uh, channel so guys chill back sit back and watch the videos so when we talk about ginger uh, also called zingiba officinale uh, it's called zingiba officinale that is in latin so it's a popular spice and herbal remedy known for its various uh, health benefits so it has been used for surgeries in traditional medicine to treat a wide range of uh, ailments and uh, from when you talk about its benefits is that it has a wide range of these so benefits and the considerations so healthy benefits they say to be digested in the, it assists in digestive aid because it's it's uh, starts to reduce nausea uh, that's a feeling to to to, to vomit so uh, and also particularly in pregnancy uh, motion sickness but especially those who travel and feel like they vomit or they vomit and also what you call also those patients undergoing chemotherapy so ginger is a remedy for nausea also it improves digestion because it stimulates the digestive enzymes enhancing digestion and also reducing bloating and gas on uh, anti-inflammatory uh, anti properties of the ginger we talk about it reduces inflammation because it, co it contains what you call uh, ginger ale, uh, ginger ale, ginger ale uh, that is G I N G E R O L, which has a potent of anti-inflammatory effects, and also useful in conditions like uh, osteoarthritis and uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, also, it's an antioxidant because of its antioxidant effects, so it protects the cells. Because it is rich in antioxidants, it helps to protect uh, the body from oxidative uh, uh, stress and reduces the risk of uh, chronic illnesses. Also, it is, has been seen to be as a property of pain relief because it elevates pain, known to reduce muscle uh, pain and soreness, often used it for athletes for recovery. So ginger is a, a pain reliever, a natural pain reliever. Also, it eases menstrual pain, uh, effectively reducing menstrual discomfort uh, and the pain at that particular point. Number five, number five is about uh, cardiovascular uh, health. It lowers. It has been seen to lower blood pressure, and it, because it can help in improve the circulation, and also in in turn. Uh, reduce the pressure the blood pressure at that particular point also it reduces cholesterol may lower cholesterol levels thus promoting the health and also uh, blood sugar regulation especially for the patient with diabetes it helps to regulate the blood uh, sugar levels and also making it beneficial for people with especially type 2 uh, diabetes so this uh, ginger is very beneficial also in immune support it boosts immunity because because of its immune boosting properties it can help fight infections and also illnesses so uh, when we talk about it is uh, benefits like I've mentioned so ginger is very important yes 
but I'm going to give you the 10, uh, the 10 conditions or health conditions where you should avoid uh, using this ginger. So ginger is widely used for medi medical properties, but it is not it is not very suitable for everyone, especially for those with certain con health conditions. And here are the 10 conditions where ginger uh, consumption might be pro problematic for you. Number one, patients with gallbladder disease. And the reason why you avoid ginger at this particular point, it's because ginger increased bile production, which may exacerbate uh, symptoms with individuals with uh, gallstones or other gallbladder issues. Number two, Patients with bleeding disorders, the reason why you should avoid this if you have bleeding disorders, ginger has a blood thinning properties which can increase the risk of uh, bleeding in people with uh, bleeding disorders like the hemophilia or those taking anticoagulant uh, uh, medications like warfarin and others. The patients with diabetes also why you should also avoid this. Ginger can lower blood sugar levels, uh, potentially causing hypoglycemia, especially with the patient predisposed with hypoglycemia, that's now low glucose levels, the, especially with people with uh, diabetes who are taking a medication to control their blood sugar. So especially if you are taking the drugs, at the same time ginger has been seen to lower your blood, level, blood sugar levels and this may be pro 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 maybe a problem, problematic for you, so that uh, you get into issues with the low blood pressure and low blood low blood glucose, and because glucose is used by vital organs like the brain and heart other other organs to function, this may bring a lot of problems. The patients with heart problem conditions. And why you should avoid the ginger if you have heart conditions? Uh, high doses of ginger may affect heart rhythms, posing a risk for individuals with heart conditions, particularly those with on heart medications. So the interaction of the drugs and also with the ginger can bring a lot of problems at that particular point. Also, the 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 the, the, the people who are pregnant, especially during pregnancy, why you should check this in moderation. Uh, because, uh, like I've mentioned, we may use ginger to alleviate morning sickness. Excessive consumption may increase the risk of miscarriage, especially in early pregnancy. So caution should be taken. And always consult with the healthcare provider before using ginger during pregnancy. Also, people with gastrointestinal disorders. The reason why you should avoid ginger if you have gastrointestinal disorders is because ginger can cause gastrointestinal distress and also in some people uh, such as with those people with acid and also with uh, ulcers when we talk about acid we're talking about acid re reflux or, or, or people with uh, inflammatory bowel syndrome uh, diseases like IBS due to it is spicy uh, nature it can have a problem with the people with the ulcers and also acid reflux so, or, or uh, inflammatory bowel diseases, which can be exacerbated with this taking of the ginger. Number eight is about people with low blood pressure. Reason, uh, ginger may lower blood pressure, which could cause what we call hypotension, or abnormally low blood pressure. And individuals who are already prone to low blood pressure, or those on uh, blood pressure lowering medications, it can really be proper. Uh, it can be problematic, problematic, yes. Also in surgery, uh, patients who have undergone surgery, because it can also be a problem, due to which is blood thinning effects. And when we talk about blood thinning effects, ginger should be avoided before and after surgery to reduce the risk of excessive uh, bleeding. When your blood is thinned, you get into excessive bleeding. So it is typically recommended to stop consuming ginger at least two, two weeks before scheduled surgery so that you avoid uh, over bleeding during the surgery. Number 10 is about allergies. Especially some people may be allergic to ginger. 
experiencing symptoms like skin rashes, if you take ginger and experience uh, skin rashes, itching or difficulty breathing upon consumption, that be, can be a very good sign that you are not really supposed to take the ginger thing. So uh, avoid it because or also if you take and you experience uh, breathing difficulties upon consumption, it is a warning sign that you should avoid taking the ginger. While ginger has very many benefits, guys, it is important to be aware of potential interactions and the contra uh, indications, especially if you have any conditions, like I've stated, if you have allergies, if you, have, you are scheduled for surgery, if you have low blood pressure, if you have kidney stones, if you have gastrointestinal disorders, if you are pregnant, if you have heart conditions, if you have diabetes, especially for those who experience low blood sugars, bleeding disorders, and gallbladder, gallbladder disease, so you are supposed to be careful on the consumption of this uh, uh, of, of this uh, ginger thing, which can be very detrimental at the end of the day. So ginger is a, a versatile and a powerful natural remedy that is a fact and also with numerous health benefits. It can aid in digestion, reduce inflammation, alleviate pain, support cardiovascular health, regulate blood sugar, and boost uh, immunity. However, it is essential to be aware of conditions and the situations where ginger might, might not be suitable for you. So always consult with the healthcare provider before adding ginger to your regimen or diet, especially if you have any underlying health conditions such as, such as diabetes, hypertension, gallbladder disease, pregnancy and other, other conditions before taking uh, any medication and if you are on any medications, you should know the interaction between ginger with your healthcare provider if it is safe to take uh, it at that particular point. This ensures safety so that you get to enjoy the advantages of ginger while avoiding potential adverse effects at the end of the day, guys. Guys, welcome. The channel is Nazvin. Kindly ever must if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe. My name is Vincent, and Vincent is not your average nurse. This is where we, we get to discuss matters medical in a simple language which you can understand without using any medical jargony where a larger population can understand. And that's why we always recommend that you get to like the video so that YouTube can recommend the larger population uh, so that it can reach many people. Uh, the basic information such as, as this can save a life somewhere. Guys, welcome, and I want to encourage you to come to welcome to our next video. Peace, guys, and we love you very much. Thank you, guys. Welcome. Yo, guys, welcome to our video today. The channel is not me. And if you've not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe. This is where we get to talk matters medical in a simple language which we can always understand. Kindly, if you have not subscribed, like now we are doing our latest videos. I want to give you some time to subscribe. Yes, subscribe guys. Kindly subscribe. Yes. Thank you very much. So today we are going to talk about a very common thing in our life. I'm going to talk about uh, something.